Hey guys, welcome to Pillbox Movies, I'm Hank, and today we're going to be watching the 2013 Polish drama Ida. Um, I don't know if you've heard me mention Cold War before, maybe you have. Cold War uh, was one of my favorite movies of 2018. It was no shoplifters, it was no never going back, but it was still pretty good, and its director, Paweł Pawlkowski, directed another film in 2013, Ida. Uh, so I figured I'd check it out. This film won the 2013 Academy Award for Best Foreign Film. Uh, best International Film these days, I think. Um, and it tells the story of a young woman, a young uh, Polish woman, on the, the, the night before she takes her vows as a nun. Sounds like gripping stuff, but... <laughs> yeah, uh... It sounds interesting. Uh, oh, I was gonna watch Poe Dawn. Whatever, we'll watch Ida. So yeah, let's watch Ida. This is gonna be a serious one. Is this gonna be in black and white too? Cold War was in black and white. Where they don't have color stock in <laughs> in Poland. Oh, that looks so beautiful. Uh, and look at this uh, aspect ratio. Oh, that looks so pretty, Jesus. Oh, I really like that really low, like keeping the subject uh, lower on the frame as a as a american cinematographers or as american moviegoers we like to like uh have the head up towards the top of the frame as much as possible so seeing this kind of like all this space above her head it's a look it's a look Ooh, snowy i'm glad we can uh go with the theme of like winter movies then with this beginning with a christ statue Following in the tradition of uh, eight and a half. Oh, this looks so pretty, Jesus. I'm already quite happy with the results on this. Oh, it looks so good. Yo, Quentin Tarantino, eat your heart out. Robert Richardson, eat your heart out. Robbie Richardson. Ooh, that looks so good. Fuck. Yo, this cinematography is awful. Fuck. <laughs> Dude, this movie looks so good. Nazywa się Wanda Gruz, jest siostry ciotką. Pisałyśmy do niej wiele razy, prosiłyśmy ją, żeby po siostrę przyjechała, ale nigdy tego nie zrobiła. Może nie dostała tych listów. I definitely remember Cold War looking good, but definitely nowhere near as clean as this. Cold War had a much more in, like improvisational kind of feel to, to it. To jest jedyna siostry krewna. To konieczne wiele w namatku. So her name's Anna? Why is this movie called Ida? It just looks so good! Whoa! Yo, why do we need color? Let's just all go back to black and white. This looks beautiful. Jesus. Is this my high school crush? Oh my god, I'm so good at goosebumps. Pani Wanda Gruz? Jestem pani siostrzenicą. Yo, what a c- Co ci o mnie powiedziały? Że jest pani moją ciotką. Tylko tyle? What else is there? Nie powiedziały ci, co robię, kim jestem. Więc jesteś żydowską zakonnicą. Uh oh. I Czym? don't like the direction this is taking. When was this set? When, when, when is this movie set? Jesteś żydówką. Nie powiedziały ci przez tyle lat. She looks so good, but I'm so nervous. Jesteś Ida Lebenstein. Jesteś córką Chaima Lebensteina i Róży Herc. Oh boy. Poczekaj. <sighs> oh boy. I'm like immediately setting spoilers now. Like you should if you if this looks at all interesting to you, you should watch this on your own and then come back. Uh don't let me spoil the movie for you. I'm already like hard recommending it. 
A to jesteś ty. No dobra, odbyłyśmy rodzinne spotkania. Muszę się ubrać, jestem spóźniona. O której masz pociąg? No na autobus wieczorem. Potrzebujesz jakieś pieniądze, czy...? Nie. Niech Bóg będzie z tobą. She a judge? She a whole ass judge. Róża była artystką, a ja lubiłam przygody. Bardzo się różniłyśmy. Raz na przykład zrobiła witraż i wstawiła go w oborze, żeby krowom było weselej. A to jest twój ojciec. Przez niego Róża wylądowała w tamtej dziurze. Oh boy. Miałam brata? Nie, była się jedyneczką. Jutro pojadę do piasku. Co odwiedzić groby rodziców? To nie mają grobów. Ani oni, ani inni Żydzi. Uf. Nie wiadomo, gdzie są pochowani. Uf. Może pod lasem, może w jeziorze. A co pytam ludzi? A co będzie, jeśli tam pojedziesz i się okaże, że nie ma Boga? <śmiech> She smiles like that's not gonna happen. Okay, all right. Good luck with that, sister. I'm nervous. This is one of those Siddhartha kind of stories where, like, our our young and enterprising protagonist doesn't know how big the world really is. She's already like assuming that she'll uh, renounce her vows. That looks so good. Who is the cinematographer for this? We must send them a, a, a basket of, of sorted fruits. Jesus. This movie's also. I mean, it just happens with foreign films in general that come to America, but this movie is a lesson in economy and screenplay. Oh boy. She's a judge. This movie is just subtle as shit. There's a stained glass. That lighting is beautiful. How I would not see this movie before. Cała róża. Kolorowe szkiełka obok krowy go gówna. <laughs> I love how mute Ida is as a protagonist. It's very wholesome, innocent energy. I would love to see this blown up on a huge screen. I love how small they they uh, keep their subjects in frame sometimes. I love how small they keep their subjects in frame! Kim ty jesteś? KGB. Teraz to już nie kim. Ale kiedyś byłam prokuratorem. Duże publiczne procesy. A lot of, caught a lot of Nazi sympathizers. Kogo? Wrogów narodu. Krwawa Wanda, to ja. It's a hell of a moniker. Dude, this movie is legit. This movie is legit! I do like her aunt, her, uh, Wanda's kind of, uh, predilection for music it makes her seem kind of modern worldly in a way that Ida isn't Zapalisz? 
Gdzie się taki kupuje? The kind of white boy that makes sisters forget their vows. This girl, <laughs> she's just trying her best to get her niece laid. Przyjdziecie potańczyć? A nie śmiesznie. Chętnie. Dzięki. Hey, it's the, uh, it's the actress in uh, Cold War. Joanna Kulich. She was also in another one of my favorite movies, uh, The Innocence, in 2016. She's got such Jennifer Lawrence energy. <laughs> Wanted to be channeling all my energies, though. I think if I had to qualify Wanda's personality, it is uh, driven but over it, which I wholly identify with. Yo, the sound mix on this movie be dirty though. I usually don't watch movies like in my off time with uh, headphones, but for real, it changes the experience tremendously. It's a it's a bit of a a to do to like lock yourself in and watch to watch a movie like with full headphones and like not like you know uh, checking on your phone every once in a while, but it really does make a difference in the experience. really be sleeping in that though? It seems like a lot. You are. You don't need to be mad at your aunt for this. She's just trying to live her life. She... She shoulders a lot of stress and burdens. This movie's beautiful. I love the silences in it. You don't need to be so hard nosed, girl. I understand. I'm very much of the same perspective, but you'll live a better life if you enjoy other people's company. <laughs> I also understand I just perspective she's she's she, she's kind of getting shock treatment of the real world everything's not as stately and orderly as she's accustomed to and she's having like a sensory overload i like love these type of movies as like a as an alternative to hollywood movies because just just in terms of construction like uh american films are designed and pivot around an active protagonist. Ooh. Ooh. I love Pavlikovsky's use of music in his films. His... Oh, it's odd. <laughs> because his movies are so serious and, like, kind of straight-nosed in their their like plots and their the directions they take the music is like a a wonderful diversion from that like uh very sad and from that kind of like 
that sad atmosphere and tone. And it's also, like, fairly naturalistic. It's kind of, uh... It's, like, uh, kind of true to these kind of characters that the 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 solace or the reprieve they would find in their daily lives would be something like music but you can really tell Pavlikovsky's and is a music lover in his movies i would jack for hours off of that exchange <laughs> Chcemy wiedzieć, gdzie są pochowani. A to by dobrzy ludzie ukrywają ich w lesie. Karmiły. A potem ich zabiłeś. Bardzo się bał. Oh no. Nice silhouette. That is a nice silhouette of the shadow. Well captured. Well framed. <laughs> Take her earrings out. <laughs> hard i really like these kind of movies like i like war movies uh i really like these aftermath movies that deal with like i don't know how to word it the insane like administrative hardship of of war of war's aftermath it's kind of like uh it's 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 kind of like uh you know making funeral arrangements after your loved one has passed like there's so much logistics to figure out when you're in such a state of a, of emotional disrepair and you know war and it's after it's after a math it's it's effects uh kind of has unquantifiable paradoxes that need to be resolved and conflicts that need to be resolved I'm glad you could be a comfort to her, but she's going through a lot right now. <laughs> so just like exercise uh, compassion and care in your handle in your dealings. It's a nunnery. <laughs> Well, you have a week then. I know it's not within the scope of, of this movie, but there is there is certainly beauty to you know taking your vows and living a life of religious uh, fervor and uh, commitment. 
Ty pewnie w ogóle nie wiesz, jak ty wyglądasz, co? She's an orphan. Tread lightly. She, she doesn't have a lot of experience with this kind of socialization. I love how she she shows off her hair every single time she has an exchange with the guy. So I know that uh, Pavel Pavlikowski had a co-writer on this film. Uh, let me look up her name. Rebecca Lankovitz. Um, but I have to say, with this and with Cold War, to a certain degree, I am shocked by the sensitivity that he has in writing female protagonists. This is me sp speaking strictly as a male viewer, um, and what I perceive, but like, uh, the depths he draws out of a uh, kind of cinematic female experience is really, it's really moving. And they express so much in just that exchange. They didn't say anything. Incredibly powerful filmmaking. God, this movie is such a masterpiece and a masterclass. Dlaczego mnie tu nie ma? Byłaś maleńka. Nikt mnie nie poznał, że jesteś Żydówką. Zawiązłem cię do księdza Andrzeja i zostawiłem. Chłopak był czarny i miał podrzymkę. To nie ojciec. And he's really great. Pawlikowski's really great at capturing the uh, emotion of a moment uh, by not having his characters react directly to like the big statement, the big action of a scene. But kind of like in the same way I was talking before about like uh, it being about aftermaths and like <laughs> administrative work, the way that they. Uh, have to recover and like figure out like tiny logistical things after a huge moment like uh little administrative duties like she has to clear out the uh the trunk in order to place the remains that's like where you where uh Pawlikowski decides to find the emotion of the scene and that's where he chooses to highlight and it's like a really brilliant kind of like um, remoteness. It's not like trying to hit you directly over the head with the impact of a scene. It's trying to elicit uh, your emotions in in the reactions, in the the aftermath, the nuances. Like, this scene in, like, an American movie would be them, like,
burying them and saying something stupid like it would focus on like the dialogue or something and in the construction of the scene this way it's about how hard the earth is and how they can't crack it open with their with their shovels and so that they have to work extra hard but in that extra work they're also expressing their grief oh that's so good i i hate how good this movie is the dirt on her hands when she makes the cross. <laughs> okay. You do what you gotta do, Wanda. Yes. I'm glad she was the one who initiated. I kind of like how their relationship is in some ways about like um, fortitude about hard-headedness like Wanda in her life is known as like a prosecutorial like very like uh, uh, dogged uh, and strong strong-willed woman and in some ways Ida is the same and they kind of butt heads over that but in, in the end it's like uh it's Wanda's very specific love for Ida and for her own sister that makes her relent and kind of uh, uh, submit to Ida's will. This movie is very good. <laughs> this movie is very, very, very good. <laughs> Rights are a strange thing. It doesn't look like they get to eat a lot. <laughs> so they had soup, and now they have some... Some savory pancakes. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <sighs> it's a statue. Wobec zebranych tu sióstr, w ręce Twoje przewielebna Matko, składam na całe życie moje śluby czystości, sercem skruszonym i unierzonym, Boże nie wzgardzisz. Ja, Bach does that to you. <laughs> oh, she loves her so much. Don't be Pepe hands because it's over. Mouth smiles that it never happened. Bum, bum, bum. Oh. That, that was most hard. <laughs> Yo, Wanda is my kind of girl. Crank that shit up. Oh no, don't. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. Is she gonna give her apartment away to her niece? Is she gonna live there? I... <sighs> She's gonna take off her... She's gonna take off her... Or her... Whatever they're called. A nun frock? Like I said, Pavlikovsky loves music. Pull out the Bible.
Ooh, really though? Okay. We're gonna go for that then. Okay. Is she actually gonna go out in that? Or is she just gonna stay in all dressed up? Extreme introvert energy. She is drinking at a very steady pace. Ooh! I like that. We've got the rat catcher shot. Towarzyszka Wanda Gruz była wybitnie znaczącą postacią dla budowy nowej powojennej Polski. Żegnaj, towarzyszko. Będziesz wiecznie żywa w naszej pamięci. I don't know if this was a um, deliberate choice or not, but I do like that for these scenes towards the end, they're not shooting on overcast days and the lighting is a lot like, it's a lot harsher, but it's a lot brighter. <laughs> I don't know instruments that well, but I was under the impression that John Coltrane is a soprano. So I don't know if he can actually like achieve these kind of, these kind of expressions on an alto sax. I'm sure they he can. This is Naima off of Giant Steps. I have not yet heard uh I usually, when I hear like jazz music used in film, it sounds so out of place and like trying to replicate the feeling of people who actually listen to jazz. But in this instance, I I'm gonna give it up. This this seems appropriate as shit. Really good color contrast in the movie of go spanning from Mozart to Coltrane. It's a rocking soundtrack. I love this, but I'm also like, this guy in his head, for the rest of his life, is going to be like, I compelled a nun in training to recuse her vows, to renounce her vows. What do you think? I think. We're going to Gdańska. We're going to play a few concerts. Are you going to play with us? Are you going to play with us? I'm sure it could be perceived as more of a burden than a blessing, but imagine being an actor and having like y y your 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 body, your identity, your performance crystallized forever on screen as like being this like vision of beauty or this vision of innocence, like a kind of character that would capture the imagination of audiences for the rest of human history like being captured in a painting or something seems very flattering yeah i like some of the harder lights that she's getting with oh wow oh i really like that ending i don't even know why Maybe because she she tasted the world in all of its in in its hardships and its beauties and uh, in the end she still found God everywhere. <sighs> that is kind of beautiful. That through all this very bad and very good <sighs> she still found her faith and I like that it's handheld for this if this is like approaching the last scene <sighs> it seems like the, the handheld seems like more born out of her curiosity some Schubert to end it Yes. Her her life was very structured previously and kind of like preordained, and now, with this handheld shot, it seems like it it's manifesting her will a little bit more. Oh, what a rip off of Oazan Balthazar!
You can't just cop Schubert like that. Oh wait, this is a Schubert. It's fucking. It's fucking. Uh, it's it's fucking. Uh, it's Bach. This is uh, it's uh, it's Solaris again. I'm an idiot. I'm so embarrassed. I got mixed up because it's being played on a piano instead of an organ, and so I immediately went for the piano sonatas. Yeah, I think that, uh, <laughs> that, <sighs> I forget the exact title of that, that Bach piece, but I think it's something along the lines of, like, I call out to you, Jesus Christ. <sighs> this was a really good movie. <sighs> I... <laughs> I really hope you watch this. Um, I don't really want to expound on it any further. I feel like I've talked enough. So yeah, that was that was that was Ida or Ida. That was Ida. Um, <laughs> you should definitely watch it. Uh, <laughs> very, 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 very good. Um, <laughs> I, I feel like a rush of relief. Um, sometimes my 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 movie selections are hit or miss. This one was definitely a hit. I have not been struck so hard by a movie. In a long, long time. <sighs> yeah, definitely check it out. And if you like this video, uh, share it with your friends. Uh, click the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more stuff. <sighs> watch some some great movies <laughs> please go and find great movies uh, yeah until the next time keep watching good movies <laughs>《She smiles like that's not gonna happen. Okay, alright. <laughs>